it's Anna Komenda here and today I have full of pastel colors and flowers layout to share with you. I am using brand new Spring is Here collection from Mintai Papers and I picked this uh, striped pastel paper for the background and I'm also adding a big word Spring uh, with letters cut it out in a variety of patterns from this add-on book so it's a blue, pink and yellow, my favorite color combo and I use my um, Silhouette Cameo to cut out those letters uh, I didn't use any specific um, cut file, I just typed word spring into the software and picked the font that I liked the most. So it's not a cut file per se. Uh, I also have those two square pictures of my daughters uh, taken last spring because this year we still have a winter here in Poland and you honestly can tell how much I wait for the spring to come. I am so sick of all the grayish colors outside and like honestly I'm done <laughs> with winter and it's still February so we are at least uh, I would say two months of <clears throat> winter here but I am fed up. Uh, I am adding uh, 3D foam squares under each letter to add a little bit of uh, dimension to my page but first I needed to glue down the pictures so uh, my letters could overlap them and I have the word S ready and I will be doing exactly the same with all other letters but of course I cut it out from the video so you will not spend a lot of time looking at me ungluing those pesky <laughs> squares from the uh, foam. Of course you can use foam tape, it would probably be much faster than uh, foam squares. I don't think I have the proper uh, thickness of uh, foam tape, well not thickness, you know, I have the one that is inch wide, wideness, wideness. And I would need some uh, more narrow tape, so I just used those squares. And the title and pictures are done, so it's basically only embellishing left. And in the add-on book of Spring is Here collection, there are two pages with elements for fussy cutting that I did off camera, and uh, I placed them in this um, container. And I also took a greenery book and I cut it out some leaves out of it, and I did it off camera too. So here are the fussy cutted uh, elements. Uh, I also have this uh, sheet of extra elements. I haven't cut it out anything yet, but some of the elements might be from there because sometimes I just cut out some parts of me adding uh, bits and pieces if it's something small to make the videos a little bit shorter. But now I go through die cut pack from this collection and I'm picking elements that may work with my page. This is my routine with every uh, project. So I just take out ephemera uh, pieces, all of them, and I group them into two categories. The ones that I am sure I will not use and the ones that I may use for the project. So sometimes I just pick the right colors, sometimes I just pick the right sizes. In this case, I wanted flowers and some smaller cute little creatures like uh, bunnies, um, chicks or the lamb. So I just uh, picked those and everything else went aside. And this way I have a more narrow <laughs> pond to fish, I would say, uh, and I'm not so overwhelmed with uh, other elements. So again, I just kind of make a pre-selection and of course I will not use everything you see on my desk right now. I will just focus on elements that uh, matches best my design. Uh, it's just like, you know, to pick things. And I'm just building the composition, but I need to be sure that the letters are still visible enough so everyone can read the word spring. And I'm going through the pieces that I fussy cut it from the add-on book, and those are two cute chicken uh, chickens. I also have some butterflies, 
Mm, I have this jar with flowers and those leaves so I'm just adding them here and there and I was focusing on those are not daffodils I think narcissus in Polish we call them narcissus which is the narcissus I don't know I will call them daffodils because this is the only English name I know for similar flowers and uh, I didn't have enough daffodils from the die cuts pack so I fussy cutted some of those from the paper I showed you before this 12 by 12 paper with elements for fussy cutting there were extra daffodils single flowers there so I just cut it out them and added uh, to my composition especially that there were uh, different sizes and I needed some smaller and bigger ones and I was running out of the daffodils from the ephemera pack and sometimes I get questions so you used up everything from the die cut pack and what's next what will you do with another project when you already used half of your die cuts for only one uh, layout well um, first I usually have more than one die cut pack for each collection uh, second I always have those papers with elements for fussy cutting to act, uh, uh, cut out extra elements. Third, I use add-on book as a source of elements for fussy cutting because as I mentioned there were two pages inside with elements for fussy cutting. And fourth, I reach for papers and I cut out elements from papers too. So sometimes I take 12 by 12 papers and cut out, I don't know, three flowers from one side. Yeah, I'm spoiled, <laughs> I would say, because as a design team member of Mintai Papers, I have an access to the big variety of uh, their products. So I'm not kind of saving them. But even if this is something I would buy by myself, I would still do the same. Um, so my philosophy is like play now worry later i would say so this is what i usually do uh, off camera i glued down all the flowers leaves and everything to the page uh, and now i'm adding some words uh, and I'm using this uh, sheet of uh, cardboard stickers they are not from um, they are not from Spring is Here collection, they are from much older collection uh, from Mintai Papers called Beauty in Bloom, but it was also a springish collection, so it was full of similar flowers and pastel colors and all the elements uh, from uh, this collection matches to this new one. And now I'm using rosebud uh, chalk paint uh, this is Creativa Chalk Paint from uh, Mintai Papers uh, and I used it uh, with a diluted version and I will going, I'm going to add splatters around the page. Uh, so I'm just uh, diluting it with water a little bit and I'm using the clean brush to splash around to create a little bit of mess but first as you can see I covered the pictures which is very important because you never know where the splatters will go and this paint you won't be able to clean out from the photos um, later so it's important to cover them up and I'm splashing with bigger and smaller splatters and here it is the page is done and here are a few close up when the paint is dry it much it is much much lighter in color so do not worry if you didn't want the darker spots it's much much lighter it's very subtle effect and all the elements are mounted with uh, foam squares so there is a lot of dimension in this layout and <clears throat> that's it for uh, today thank you so much for uh, staying with me don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, to never miss any more videos and uh, uh, and okay <laughs> I forgot what I wanted to say so maybe it's time to just say goodbye and see you in the next video bye